Hello guys, it's GP Tech here again for another video. This time we're going to do a bit of a how-to video. It's quick and simple. I'm sure most people already know this, but just in case you don't, I'm going to show you how to open an optical drive of a computer. You can see there's some computers in front of, in front of the camera there, without the computer actually being on. And this is good in case you've turned off the computer and you realise your disk is stuck in the computer. Or maybe the optical drive doesn't work and therefore you can't open it, even if the computer is turned on. This trick will bypass all of those problems and all you need is a paperclip. Now this paperclip, as you can see, is slightly bent out of shape. That's because I've done this before. But what you're going to need to do is get your paperclip and just bend it out like that. Now it doesn't matter what size paperclip you have. I would say this one is probably a little bit too thick, but it does still work, as I will now demonstrate. Okay, so now you've got your paper clip ready, and we have a computer, and I've just moved the middle one so it's in a better position. So we're going to use this one first. I have different computers to represent different ages of computer. If you look very closely, Sorry, my finger in the way. There you go, just about there, you can see the eject button, and just above it, or sorry, just to the right of it, in between the eject button and the actual optical drive, there's a little hole. What you're going to want to do with the paper clip is line it up and then push it into the hole. It's a bit difficult to sit one handed, but there you go. And now the drive is open and as you can see the computer isn't on so that's just one computer I've got a couple more to do the next one is my Dell Dimension 4300 and this is going to be the same principle just there there is the ejector hole or the thing you put the paper clip in once it's in all you've got to do is just push the paper clip, and as you can see, the drive opens perfectly. Next one here is a Dell Optiplex GX620 Optimal Form Factor. Next uses a laptop drive, which is why I've got this to show it works for laptop drives as well. Again, the whole bit more visible here, it's just there. Put it in, straight out comes the drive. And the last computer we're going to use is a HP Pavilion G2. It's going to lean it there. And as you can see on this particular computer, the hole is right there. So, paperclip, line it up nicely. In and press, and hopefully, if all goes well, it will open, which it's not doing, which is a bit awkward. I might have just there you go, and out comes the drive. Oops. So, it really, is that simple. Now, I forgot to mention, so I'm going to briefly mention it now. If you have a computer that has a slot loading drive, obviously this trick isn't going to work. This particular computer is a late 2006 iMac, the 20 inch version, that's not really relevant for this. The relevant part is it has a slot loading drive. Obviously this is intended to be open by software and the old paperclip trick doesn't work. So yeah, it's unfortunate. So like I say, if you've got a an uh, old school kind of trailer, well, I say old school, it's still pretty common, but if you've got a tray loading drive, paperclip works. If you've got a slot loading drive, it doesn't. So, that's it all for this video. If you found it helpful, like, comment, and even consider subscribing. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.